Hi everyone, I'm Jen. This is me and my personal story with the statue by Rodin called The Thinker. And this one particularly is a uh, contentious point between my mother and I. I don't know if contentious is the right word. It's just putting strain between us because she is a non emir and she just came back from France to prove to me that the Rodin the Thinker statue is what the current history is, uh, states. And she's not understanding my point that Mandela effect uh, literally means that history no longer reflects that. So she's just showing me photographs of proof of what how she remembers it, which is interesting because she refuses to mimic a pose before she left for the trip and after she left for the trip. I said, you know, please, can you just mimic the pose so that you can at least, if it changes again, we at least can remember this point. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. I think it's because it's my mom. I want my mommy, you know, during this Mandela effect, you want your mommy. And so anyhow, um, just for those of you who are not Mandela affected or have come on different timelines, um, my different The Thinker statue poses are originally, uh, he's a man sitting, always, all of these always with the face towards the ground, and uh, right elbow on his right knee with his right fist to his forehead. Then the next timeline I experienced was the uh, right fist to his chin. Then it was his right hand with relaxed fingers under his chin. And then the next one, he actually moved his right elbow to his left knee, keeping his um, relaxed fingers under his chin. And then his uh, hand uh, switched to where the top of the hand was not just under the chin, but sort of covering his mouth and chin, still with relaxed fingers. And um, it's just interesting. I I have people mimic, uh, I ask if they'll play along with my new hobby, is how I present it. And so they'll mimic the uh, poses of the statue and people will come up with different um, poses. But one man, um, he is in his early 20s, I think, he might not even be 20, I don't know, but um, he uh, was in a movie theater, and uh, oh, they started a new band, you guys need to, if you ever hear of the Copeland Drifters, they're going to be huge, they're awesome. Anyhow, so I met him, and he mimicked the pose where the right elbow's on the left knee, and the hand is the right hand is relaxed under the chin like that, or you know over the mouth a little bit. But maybe, maybe even the hand might the hand might have even been a little bit on the side of his mouth or cheek. I can't remember. What I remember though was that the face was um, faced toward the sky. And so I predict the future. In fact, when his Pikachu tail, um, we were still in the black tip, had become all yellow, and we were not thinking there might, we meaning we emirs, were not thinking that there might be another um, version. Well, he said that the tail was brown, and that night I declared that I saw the future and that there would be brown in the tail, and sure enough, there's brown in the tail of Pikachu. So... Um, you know, who knows, maybe him mimicking the the thinker pose, um, he's, you know, the thinker's going to be looking up at the sky. And uh, I do believe these Emmy signs are benevolent um, aids for us to become aware. Um, I've understood it to be different messages that we need to remember that we are one, that we are essences expressing ourselves through the human experience and that we ourselves have different versions but that all of our different versions are one with all of everyone else's different versions and um, I feel like the thinker specifically is the face was always to the ground and especially the first lines with the clenched fist was just like are just so focused on on one specific issue and just really 
you know, concentrating on it. And then as time goes on and more and more emirs are becoming aware, the fist is getting relaxed and even his torso is kind of um, twisted. So he's just turning and, and not all in a fetal position clenched. So um, and my take on it is that maybe it means that instead of just looking and being um, sort of with the blinders on and only looking at what's in front of you and, you know, whether it's work or your chores at home or your obligations, um, but to kind of relax and realize that there's more and there is more to our life. There is more to our own personal lives, um, lives plural because of the, the uh, multiple timelines but um but but also that there's more to uh, humanity that we are interconnected and um that we need to look beyond just what's in front of us and uh i think that that's maybe what the thinker is reflecting what are your thoughts on this i would really love to know lots of love to everyone bye